And there we go, the Mighty Dubcats Magic Carpet Ride. I used to know a girl, she always made that noise. Ah, ding, 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 ding. Ah, ding, ding, ding. I would tell her, why do you make that noise? She goes, I don't know, I'm just happy. <laughs> what does that mean? Ah, ding, 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 ding. What does that mean? She goes, I don't know. It just sounds good to me, so I just make that noise. I go, all right, all right. But after a while, it didn't sound cute anymore. I had to get rid of her. Doesn't sound cute no more. Nah, nah, ding, 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 ding. It just doesn't work. Good morning, Double R Old School Internet Radio Friday morning, live on Facebook right now. Stop by and say hello. Anyway, we'll call it Freeform Friday. Sure, why not? 10.20, part of the mañana, August the 5th, 2022. 82 degrees happening right now in San Anto. Partly, cl no, I was going to say partly cloudy, but no, it's partly sunny. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell the difference is, but it is what it is. Ah, ding, 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 ding. So anyways, uh, let's see what we can talk about here. Got lots of stuff here going on. Uh, I want to go here first. You know, this isn't the greatest of things, but uh, uh, I'm going to report it anyway. San Antonio, Texas. A man is dead, and his 11-year-old son was injured when an 18-wheeler... Um, is this the one I'm looking for? Yeah. Yeah, when an 18-wheeler lost two of its wheels along I-45... Right along, where the hell the hell is that? Gonzalez County? Uh, where is this? Houston? Where in the Harris County? At the 45. I think that's Houston if I got that right. Well, anyways, a man is dead and his 11-year-old son was injured when an 18-wheeler lost two wheels. Mid-drive along I-45. Now, can you imagine going down the highway and losing two of your wheels? Forget about you losing them on the other end. Getting hit by two 18-wheeler tires going 70 or 80 miles an hour. It'll kill you, man. And and there it is right there. Just unreal for an 18-wheeler to lose not one, but two tires and went and killed a man and his 11-year-old son was injured. That is crazy, man. What are the odds of that? Man, how do you look out for something like that? Uh, we'll see you after a while. By the way, look out for an 18-wheeler that might lose a tire. Okay. And there you go. That's crazy, man. That really, really is. Good morning. Shout out again out to Double R Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. Double R Radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Let's see what else I got here. Boom, boom. Man, I'm getting a lot of killing stories this morning. Now, check this one out. Another crazy story. A man who was killed by a, a man was killed by a snake bite hours after a funeral for his brother that was also killed by a snake bite. You know these snakes, man, I want nothing to do with them. I see a snake, I run. <laughs> I'm not lying, man. If I see I don't care if it's a baby snake, I'm running. So if I'm trying to impress a girl, hell yeah, baby, I've taken on gangs and I've beaten up so many people and I was in the war and this and that. Then I see a snake, gotta go, and I'll take off running. I'm serious, man. I want nothing to do with snakes. To me, the only good snake is a dead snake, and that's true, man. <laughs> so how crazy for a man that was killed by a snake bite Hours after the funeral of his brother, who was also killed by a snake. Crazy, man. Really, really is. Good morning, Jedi. Good night to Maru Flores. Maru, uh, Maru has the mentality of every day is Christmas and every night is New Year's Eve. Man, I, I wish I could have that mentality. I just don't have that no more. I used to have it. Not no more. <laughs> now, check this out. Uh, where this out? Austin, Texas. An unknown suspect reportedly stole thousands of dollars worth of briskets from an Austin barbecue place. According to the restaurant, the unknown suspect allegedly broke into the restaurant uh, after 4 a.m. The restaurant said he jumped over the side fence, cut off barbecue pit locks, and loaded more than 20 whole briskets. Man, well, let me just put it to you this way. If you live in Austin or the surrounding areas and know somebody who's throwing a mean barbecue backyard barbecue party, that's your guy <laughs> right there. All these people and everything. Man, to, is it worth it to break into a barbecue place and steal briskets? Is it worth getting caught? Man, there's got to be some mean briskets right there, man. Really? Wow. Crazy. It really, really is. 
Okay, we'll go over here. We'll go over here. We're going to go over here. Boom. Now, check this out. An airport employee. Where does this happen at? At New York says the airport narrowly avoided getting hit by an airplane. How crazy would that be, right? To be run over, killed, or injured by an airplane? Well, the guy was trying to load luggage onto a plane, but this other plane was passing by. The guy didn't notice it, and the plane almost ran over the guy who was loading luggage into another plane. I used to work at the airport way, way, way back in the day. And uh, let me just say this, man. I got behind one of those planes when it had landed, and it was still doing the jet kind of a thing, the wind kind of a thing. And I got to tell you, man, and that's because I used to use a lot of hairspray on my hair when I had hair. And... uh Man, that, you know, that jet put my hairspray to the test, and my hair didn't move a bit. I did. You know, I was, right? My shirt, my pants, everything, but my hair stayed nice and smooth. Man, I miss those days. <laughs> right? I miss those days. Um, You know, I'm going to go with one more. I, I don't like reporting these stories where somebody dies. But uh, I'm, I'm going to give you all another one here. This is just crazy. It really, really is. San Antonio, Texas. A man is dead after he swerved to avoid hitting a mattress in the middle of the roadway. You know, I've said this time and time and time again, man, that I don't care what's in the middle of the road. You know, if I'm going 40, 50, 60, 80 miles an hour and something jumps in the middle of the road or something's there, I don't care. I'm not swerving. I'm hitting it. And that's the truth, man. Unless, you know, even if it's if it's a stranded car in the middle of the road, then maybe. But aside from that, it can be an armadillo, a deer, a cow, a horse, a mattress. I don't care. I'm going straight into it because nine times out of ten, when you try to swerve around something, the person swerving ends up really hurting himself or really killing himself. And here's prime example right here, man. This man was trying to swerve to avoid hitting a mattress. He was better off running it over. It's just a mattress, man. Right? But, you know, I guess instincts kicked in and he tried swerving around it. The car rolled 80 yards and ended up along inside, alongside some trees, and the man was just killed. Unreal, man. Sad. Really, really sad stuff right there. It really is. Let's see here. What else do I have? <laughs> now, check this one out. Uh, a pizza place in Arizona um, has a sign that is posted at the front door. Please wait to be seated and be patient with your pizza because we have lazy employees. <laughs> hey, man, uh, that doesn't help. That doesn't help the employees, man, when they post a sign out there. Please be patient to be seated and be patient for your pizza because we have lazy employees. <laughs> if I was an employee there, I said, oh, si, cabron, des gracias, and I'd walk out, man. I'm serious. But oh, well, <laughs> no one's going to call me lazy. Only my mom and dad can call me lazy. But not not you. You're not going to call me lazy. And there you go. So anyways, pizza place. <laughs> Uh, they're they're saying that uh, if you're gonna go to them, uh, be patient, being seated, and be patient with your pizza because uh, they have lazy employees. Let's keep it going. Something by uh, Seguin, Texas' very own Tierra Tejana. Celebrate! That's right. The weekend is here. Good morning. Ah oh, man, that's lazy this morning. I feel all. I, that's because I went and had breakfast just a while ago, man. I had huevos rancheros, two eggs, frijolitos, papitas, bacon, two tortillas, a cup of coffee. Now I'm all lazy. Mm. <laughs> That's true. I'm not playing either. Let's get back to the morning show. I'm going to try and wake you guys up and try to wake myself up as well. <laughs> 